What is up everybody, it's your boy Brando here with Brando Reviews and today we're going to be checking out this Artly projector right here. So as you can see it says a 720p native HD resolution, it has built in airplane mirror cast so you can use your smartphone directly up to it, very nice. 1080p HD supported and it is portable, it has a nice small size to it. And it says it's 5000 lumens, it can do up to a 300 inch image, so pretty cool specs if that's true and uh, come with a nice bag. So we're gonna go ahead and look at the sides here and you can see there's nothing really else on the box here. So we're just gonna open it up on the top right here just like so, and pop her open. So you can see there's a nice case here that it comes in. And there's nothing else inside the box there. So here it is right here. And you can see it's a pretty nice case. A nice case right here, nice handle, two zippers of course, nothing too special but Seems like a lot of projectors today are coming with uh, bags, which is nice so you can carry it around and not have to worry about damaging it. So up here at the top, let's see what we got, if I can actually do it. You have a card right here that talks about a serial number and warranty policy, so you can write down your number there, keep this stored somewhere. And you have an instruction manual right here which tells you how to get it set up and started right here. And there's a video you could watch and scan right there. So accessories it comes with right here, you have a adapter right here, you can plug this into the back of the projector in order to give you your old style RCA cables here. If you wanna hook up a Wii or a VCR player, you can do that with this, anything that uses non-HDMI. Um, have a remote control right here, looks pretty basic to me, it's like every other remote I've ever had before. But again, there's nothing wrong with that, it's just a nice sleek little remote right here. With your battery door, I believe is down here, right here on the side, you just pop it open. And you can pop your batteries right inside there. And we'll put that back, snap it in. And you do get an HDMI in here. And I do believe it looks to be about six feet or so. We're not gonna open it because I have like 30 of these things and a nice HDMI cable. So you have your little storage bin up here, which we took out. And here's the actual projector itself. And it is so small. I didn't think it was gonna be this small coming out of that box. You can see it has a divider right here. So here it is right here. We'll go ahead and pop her out here and set her down. And there is a cap in here too. This is just a protective shipping cap right here. It must have fallen off. And you can see it goes in just like so. It goes out, in. And then this is your keystone adjustment right here, which is the bottom one. I'll try to make it a little easier here. Keystone adjustment down here. And your focus ring up here. And the keystone adjustment sway the movement of what's coming out of here to make it fit better. Um, so pretty cool. Um, we'll go ahead and zoom into some of the buttons right here. You can see right here on the side, you have up, down, left, right with an OK in the middle. Have your return right here to go back to what you're previously doing, as well as a on and off button right here. Um, this looks to be how you switch your HDMI inputs, and this is how you go into your settings. And I think that's right, I didn't check, but that sounds right. There's a little dot right there too. This is the indicator light right here to tell you if the RT Lee projector is powered on or off. You see the logo right here with some aesthetic nubs right here. They don't do anything, but it looks cool. And on the back right here, you can see you have your old style VGA input. There's your infrared right there so that your uh, remote can pick up and connect to it. Back here looks to be some ventilation and might also be the speaker port right there. If you go lower, you have more ventilation, more ventilation. On the side right here, you have your power port right there. That's where you plug it in to give it power. And on this side right here is all the goodies right here. You have your HDMI input, SD card input, two USB inputs. Have your AV input right there for the adapter and your headphone end right here. We'll go ahead and turn to the front here actually so you can see it. Have like a little infrared looking thing right there. I'm not sure because it's on the back. But that looks cool I guess. And then you have your thing right here. You can see it pops quite a bit out. Just like so. And then the bottom right here, you have your nub right here. You can pull your nub out to give you some distance from the ground just like so. So that when you set it down it's a little higher up. Uh, pretty standard stuff for a projector, but I just wanted to point it all out so you know what you're getting. So it's pretty lightweight too. It's all plastic, but it's not like crazy light. So the only real thing to do now is to put it up on the wall and see how good the quality is. So here it is right here. You can see we have the HDMI plugged in here. The power is plugged in on the other side. And this projector does have mirror cast or mirror vision, which allows you to... Uh, basically sync what's on your phone onto here. So sort of like a Chromecast, but whatever's on your phone screen, whether it's Android or iOS, you can instantly stream it to here and onto there. So it can be completely wireless. You don't have to hook it up with an HDMI or USB to your computer. You can use the mirror cast or mirror vision. Um, so here it is guys, we're just going to turn the lights off now and we're going to uh, switch the camera around so you guys can see the screen. So let's go ahead and turn the light off right here and I'm gonna shut the blinds in a second and we'll get it nice and dark in here. All 
right guys, so that was just a quick little look there of this clip right here. Um, for my end, it's a little blown out, you know, it's a little uh, bright, I guess. Everything seems a little bright, but um, the quality is very good. You can make out everything, all the words and everything um, at the bottom of the screen there. Um, you might not be able to on the camera there, but it, it's clear enough considering the price of this unit and what you're getting. I think it's a good value still. It is really pretty, honestly. It's kind of getting me in the feels right now. Can't handle this. <laughs> All right, guys, so that was just a quick little clip right there. As you can see, once the light's on, it's a lot harder to see. It is still visible, though. Um, and that was really cool what we saw just there, too, on that video because that was taken with an A6100 camera, which is the same camera I have. So I thought that was very cool because that's the same camera we're filming with right now. So... So one other thing to note right here on the screen is you do have built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which is very cool. Um, some sort of higher tech features for a projector of this price. And the network setting would be used to connect to the Mirror Vision, Mirror Cast, of course. And Bluetooth as well has its own uses for connecting with audio as well as uh, for different purposes right there. And when it is uh, going, it is a little bit loud, but it's definitely not so loud that uh, it overpowers anything. It's an acceptable level of loud. Um, so overall, I think the Artly Enjoy 2 is a very nice camera. I think it's a good value for the money. You can use that mirror vision if you want. Um, it has all these different connection ports on it. The video resolution is pretty good considering the price and size and uh, just the purpose of this unit here. Um, I really like that the leg right here, it extends very far down so you can adjust it to where you need it. And the bottom's very nice. You got your tripod mount there. But um, there you guys go. If you guys want to purchase this, there will be a link down below so you can do so. If you guys enjoyed this video, you can subscribe down below as well. If you got any comments, leave them down below and I'll respond to you. Hope you guys have a good one. Later.